All right, so we all know your boy Sunday is gonna come on Wednesday in the 2.7 release of Hawkeye Star Rail. Therefore, I prepared a summoning ritual to ensure that he does come home, which is reciting the Charming Dove speech word for word in hopes of getting him home. I'm gonna start practicing now and hopefully it works on the day of my summonings. All right, it's actually been a while since I last uh, saw the speech myself. So uh, let me get some practice in here. One day after dinner, while my youngest sister and I were lounging about in Gopher Wood's yard, we spotted a fledging Charmly Dove all on its own. The baby bird was tiny, it didn't even have all of its feathers, and it couldn't sing. When we found it, it was already on its last breath, having fallen into a shrub, probably abandoned by its parents. We decided to build a nest for it, right then and there. However, thinking back, that winter was unusually cold, with fierce winds at night in the yard, not to mention the many poisonous bugs and wild beasts in the vicinity. It was clear if we left the fledging in the yard, it stood no chance of surviving until spring. So I suggested we take it inside, place it on the shelf by the window, and ask the adults to fashion a cage for it. We decided when it regained its strength enough to spread its wings, we would release it back into the what? <clears throat> Fuck, this is hard. We decided that when it regained its strength enough to spread its wings, we would release it back into the wild. The tragic part, something that we never consider, was that the bird's fate had already been determined long before this moment. Its destiny was determined by our, moment, our momentary whim. Now I pass the power choice to you all. Face the situation, what choice would you make? Stick to the original path and build a nest with soft net where the Chaminator fell, or build a cage for it and feed it, giving it the utmost care within the warmth of a home? I eagerly await your answer. You know, surprisingly, there's actually multiple versions of the Chaminator speech. There's like the Chinese version, fucking Gen Z Alpha version, <laughs> which I honestly do want to kind of read. You want? I'm kind of curious. Let me actually read this. One day after dinner, while my sister and I were vibing in Mr. Golden Woods' yard, we spotted a Loki Charmony dove all on its own. That baby was mid. It didn't even have all of its drip, and it couldn't risk. When we found it, it was already on its L, having yeeted into a shrub, probably ghosted by its fam. We decided to stand it for the night. Uh, there and then. Good lord. However, thinking back, that winter hit different with cringe winds at night in the yard. Not to mention the many sus bugs and base beasts among us. I fucking hate this. It was clear that if we left the fledgling cook, it, it, it's given no chance of glow up. So I suggested we take it inside, place it on the shelf by the window, and I see ooms to F in the chat. We decided that when he regained its strength enough to flex, we would touch- we would let it touch grass. The oof- the oof part, something we never considered, was that this NPC's fate has already been cooked long before this moment. Its destiny was caught in 4K. Now I pass a cloud of choice to you all. First, faced with this L plus ratio, what choice would you make? Stick to the Lulu plan and cope with the Charmy Dove fell, or cage max for it and stand it, giving it bust and care from within the bougie of a home. I eagerly wait your hot takes. I don't even know what half of those fucking words mean. <laughs> oh my fucking goodness. Oh god, there's a second one. <laughs> I'm not gonna read that. <laughs> I think I have it up brain rot as is. Arataki Ito slash Jesse Pickman edition. What the hell's this one? So one evening after dinner, me and my little sis were just chilling in Mr. Gopher's wood yard when we spotted this baby Chabney dove. Like, totally alone. This little dude was tiny. No feathers couldn't even chirp. Nada. Nah. It was barely hanging on, lying in some bush, probably ditched by its fam. Obviously, we decided to make a DIY nest right then and there. But, like, looking back, that winter was brutal. The wind out, <laughs> out here trying to ruin everyone's vibe. The yard was full of sketchy bugs and wild animals. So, yeah, bad news for the little cat. It hit me that we, if we left it outside, it was totally doomed. So, I was like, yo, let's bring it inside. Put it on the windowsill. And ask the grown ups to whip our little cage for it. Plan was, once it got its act together, it could fly. We'd set it free. Based on plots we didn't see coming. This poor boy's fate? Already sealed. Our little rescue mission? Just a side quest. That didn't really change anything. And now I'm passing the control to you guys. Face the same stitch. What's your move? Can't make you hear what you do. Jeez. Oh, what the fuck? It's Ninja X Tarmony Dove X Banana. Oh god, this is involving the fucking 2.6 stuff. Jesus, that's long. I'm not gonna read that. Not unless this video hits 100 likes or something. There's Banana X Charmy Dove. There's an emoji version of the whole fucking thing. There's a QR code for the Charmy Dove. The Woo Fight version. I'm not reading that. I'm not reading that unless this video hits 200 subs.
Jesus, how many versions of this copy pasta are there? There's even a fucking Braille version. Are you kidding me? There's a Morse code version too? Binary hex? Jesus. Oh my goodness. Well, after reading multiple versions of this freaking copy pasta, I hope I'm at least well and prepared for Sunday. I hope he does come home on like the first temple or something. He better after I had to sit through that crap. But uh, yeah, I think I'm all well and prepared for uh, when Sunday releases. <laughs> Hopefully. Be sure to sub if you want to catch me actually doing this summoning ritual live and uh, see if it works or not. And uh, I wish you guys all the best of luck if you're trying to get Sunday as well. And well, that's it, folks. Uh, I'll see y'all next time. But the question is, are you guys going to be summoning for Sunday? I eagerly await your ad.